Hello everyone, Bashrob here and in this video I'll cover fishing, the best techniques to fish, the best places to fish and pretty much everything else you need to know to get the most out of fishing. Fishing has undergone a lot of changes recently. It went from an alternative but suboptimal way to get some extra food to almost the necessity in long runs as fish are currently the best source of vitamin C that is renewable in large quantities. However, fishing has been very good for quite a while now, ever since they added tip-ups, though few noticed how good it can really be. First, let's take a look at the differences between fishing spots. Now that we can create our own fishing holes, it's possible to fish in almost every region in the game. But not all fishing spots are the same. Fishing in coastal regions will yield saltwater fish, while all other regions with large water bodies contain freshwater fish. But that's relatively common knowledge. What you probably don't know is that not all fishing holes will yield the same amount of fish. The fishing holes in fishing huts are better than custom fishing holes you can create. The catch rate is faster, the tip-ups decay slower and the ice freezes slower as well. The broken fishing hut in Ash Canyon is special and lets you catch fish even faster than in all other fishing huts. It's the single best fishing spot in the game However, this does not matter as much anymore, since with tip-ups you'll want to create multiple holes anyway. But for old school tackle fishing, it's still the best spot. Any fishing holes you create in zone of contamination will have much lower fishing rate than all other holes. These are the worst fishing spots in the game, which is understandable, as the entire region is built around the challenge of food scarcity. Fish catch rate is also dependent on game difficulty and they survived. Pilgrim, Voyager and Stalker have the same fishing mechanics. They use the base catch rate and fishing doesn't get harder as the game progresses. On Interloper, fishing works the same way at first, but eventually catching fish will take twice as long on average. The fish all provide different amount of calories, oil and vitamin C. In both freshwater and saltwater, one fish is the most common, one is uncommon and the remaining two are quite rare. You can increase the chance of catching the rare fish by using fishing lures. However, they also increase the maximum time it takes to catch fish, which is not necessarily a good trade-off. Fishing lures are infinitely reusable and won't be lost when catching fish, but keep in mind they will be lost if your fishing line snaps. I did some math to determine the usefulness of the lures. In short, lures are simply not worth it in just about any scenario. You will yield fewer calories and oil per hour if you use the lures. Not to mention, you need time and resources to craft the lures in the first place, which I didn't even account for. What about fishing bait? Is it worth it? You can get bait by harvesting raw fish and the amount you get is dependent on fish weight. The type of the fish doesn't matter at all. You get 3 bait per 1 kilo of fish, rounded down, meaning fish that weighs exactly 1 kilo will give you the same amount of bait as fish that weighs 1.3 kilos, but fish weighing 1.35 kilos would give you an extra piece of bait. So if you're going to harvest fish for bait, pick the fish carefully, otherwise you're potentially losing a lot of calories, oil and vitamin C. Using bait while fishing increases the minimum fish weight by 50%. Keep in mind you cannot stockpile bait, as it becomes unusable once decayed. It's also risky to walk around with it as it still smells. 
Bait is consumed each time a fish is caught, including when the fishing line breaks. I consider tackle fishing mostly an outdated method, as you'd only catch a fraction of fish you could with tip-ups, but one advantage is that you don't need nearly as many resources a single tackle could yield you a bunch of fish before it breaks and it's pretty easy to craft early. The condition of your fishing tackle doesn't matter at all, so feel free to use your tackles for mending before you fish with them. When fishing the old school way with a tackle, the exact time it takes to catch a fish is somewhat random. It can be anything between the minimum and the maximum possible catch time, depending on the fishing location, difficulty settings, and whether you use a lure or not. In many cases, the minimum time it takes to catch a fish can be longer than one hour. This means if you keep trying to catch a fish in just one hour intervals, you will never catch anything ever. So, it's good to know what the longest possible time to catch a fish is in your situation and always attempt to fish for at least that many hours. I'll include a link to a simple calculator for this in the description if you struggle to figure it out yourself, along with some more math I've done on fishing. Now, let's talk about that one thing that revolutionized fishing. Tip-ups. Tip-ups are amazing and single-handedly make fishing a viable way to obtain food, even on higher difficulties. But it's important to know how to get the most out of them. Tip-ups might seem like snares for fish at first, but unfortunately they don't work too well when fishing passively, mainly for two reasons. First, the ice will completely freeze by the time you return to check on the fish, requiring you to spend possibly several hours to clear ice from all the holes used for fishing, which defeats the purpose of passive fishing. Second, tip-ups decay while in use, whether they caught the fish or not, at a rate of 1% per hour, so if you fish passively, you will catch fewer fish overall with each tip-up before it breaks. Additionally, tip-ups will lose 10% condition each time your line breaks, though that's still arguably better than completely losing your tackle, like when you fish actively. If a tip-up breaks while it was deployed, it will always fail to catch fish. For this reason, I recommend only using tip-ups that are above 15% condition and harvesting the rest. Catching fish with tip-ups does not level up your fishing skill and your tip-ups do not gain any bonuses from your fishing level, such as faster catch rate or reduced line break. Those are all disadvantages compared to the traditional fishing method but tip-ups are still the way to go for one simple reason you can deploy multiple at the same time which means you can catch fish several times faster than it was possible before the tip-ups were released to get the most out of tip-ups it's best to set up as many as you can but there is an overfishing mechanic in the game to prevent the player from placing down too many tip-ups at once if you deploy more than 6 tip-ups, each newly placed tip-up over 6 will catch fish considerably slower. So you never want to use more than 6 fishing holes at the same time. There are a few exceptions to this. First, it's easier to overfish in the zone of contamination and overfishing penalties will apply after using more than 4 tip-ups instead of 6. Second, holes in fishing huts don't seem to be affected by overfishing, however, using a fishing hole in a hut will still affect all holes outside huts. What this means in practice is that you could still place 6 tip-ups outside and still use the fishing hole inside a hut to fish with a tackle if you want. 
Tending to this many tip-ups at once is quite a bit of work, so it won't be passive. Most of the time you'll be making sure the ice is broken, so that the tip-up can be picked up right after it catches something, along with some cooking and taking one hour naps in between. With this strategy, you can expect to catch about 50,000 calories worth of fish every day, which is roughly equivalent to two bears and does not put you in danger. Ice holes do not freeze for 10 in-game minutes after being cleared, so ideally you clear the holes every 10 minutes to prevent them from freezing too much. This will save both time you spend on ice breaking and condition on the tool you use. My preferred tool for ice breaking is the heavy hammer, as it doesn't get damaged very much and can be repaired on the spot if you bring some hardwood and tools. Some people like to use pry bars as they work similarly to hammers and decay quite slowly, but keep in mind pry bars are one of the few items not renewable currently and they cannot be repaired. The best spots to set up these tip-up farms are usually right in front of fishing huts. Set down a bedroll, light a fire and make six fishing holes just outside the door. You'll be able to reach them while sitting in the hut and staying warm, no matter the weather or difficulty. You can stay for days, as long as your tip-ups don't decay and your fuel lasts, and as a bonus, you get to cook some of the fish you catch right away. You can also utilize the fishing hole inside the hut, either for active fishing or to place a tip-up in. It might seem like you would get more fish by placing six tip-ups outside and fish actively with a tackle inside, but I did some testing and it turns out it's actually not really worth it. You will rarely catch a fish with a tackle before one of your tip-ups needs standing and you will also not break ice on the holes as often as you should, which will slow things down. So. I recommend just placing one tip up inside a hut, as holes inside huts let you catch fish slightly faster, and another five tip ups just outside a hut. For regions that do not have a fishing hut in them, there is an alternative way, and that is to fish from a snow shelter. It's not quite as good as fishing huts, but it's not much worse. There's a few really good spots to place down snow shelters to fish from. HRV, Mountain Town, Desolation Point, Broken Railroad and Zone of Contamination all have at least one spot where fishing from a snow shelter is possible. There's a few others, but the spots in regions with fishing huts don't matter as much as you could just fish in fishing huts instead. Crumbling Highway and the Winding River are the only regions where fishing is possible, but have neither fishing huts or any decent snow shelter spots I am aware of. If you figure out a way to fish conveniently in either of these two regions, feel free to share in the comments. With optimal placement, you may be able to reach as many as four fishing holes straight from the shelter allowing you to clear ice and reset the tip-ups while staying warm. The snow shelter and fishing hole placement is very tricky though. Desolation Point, Zone of Contamination and Mountain Town are not that bad, but HRV and especially Broken Railroad are quite difficult. It's best to start with the rightmost hole, it should be aligned with the outer edge of the shelter and can't be placed too far from it, about one hole in diameter away from the shelter. The middle two are easy to place, just place them as close to the other holes as possible. And the leftmost needs to be placeable a bit closer to the shelter than the other three in order to be able to reach it. It might require a couple attempts to get hang of, so don't break 
the ice on the hole completely. If you let the hole freeze back to 100%, it will disappear and you can try again. Though note that if you enter a loading screen before it freezes, that hole will stay there for good. That's everything you need to know in order to get the most out of fishing. Now you should never be low on oil or vitamin C and should have plenty of calories in any region that allows you to create fishing holes in it. Thank you for watching.